Hi everyone, in this video we will learn to add a servo motor, with simple application of rotating bridge, in event based motion study. Let's start. Here, I have assembled a car on a track, I have added a proximity sensor. Sensor will be triggered by the moving car. Sensor will trigger the servo motor to be added on rotating component of the bridge. It is assembled such that it can rotate about the base track. Enable the SOLIDWORKS motion add-in, and go to the motion study tools. I have added gravity, solid body contact between car wheels and track, and two simple motors on wheels for driving the car. Now, add a new motor, and select rotating face of motor and fixed member around which the motor will rotate it. Select the servo motor option, with displacement. Now, go to event based motion study option as shown. Click to add a task, in trigger, select the proximity sensor which we had created, keep the condition as alert on, and time delay as none as we want instant action. In the feature, add the rotary motor which we had just created. Change the action as change, and put the change value as angle required to level the bridge, and put the duration in which it will change. Remember, if we had selected velocity in servo motor, we would have had to input rotational velocity value. Click on calculate, it may take a while. The car has started moving as we motors are added on front wheels. We see the sensor in action as soon as car interferes with sensor. The trigger of sensor has started the rotary motion of servo motor, added on the rotating bridge. Subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for upcoming fun videos. The servo motor motion will go on for 2 seconds, as we had defined this value. Let's directly view the final motion. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for upcoming fun videos.